We know this. We're in the dog days of summer. It's hot day and night. It can be dangerous for us, but also for our pets as well. Dr. Megan Callahan from the Veterinary Emergency Group in Tampa joins us to uh, talk about it. Good morning, Doc. How you doing? Good morning, Russell. So what's, um, what's your best advice for people with pets this time of year? So pets, pets burn off heat differently than people do, so they don't sweat. They, yeah. uh, they breathe it out, right? So we're going to want to uh, take care of them a little bit differently than we're taking care of ourselves during uh, anything outside that's maybe in the, the uh, middle of the day or in the hot sun. So if you are concerned about any of these signs, definitely bring your pet to an emergency center right away. Veterinary Emergency Group has two locations in Tampa, so you should be close to one. Um, if you are in the greater Tampa area, you can always call and speak with the doctor directly to figure out if your pet is experiencing these issues. Things you will be looking for, heavy panting and breathing that doesn't stop. Um, it continues after you get inside or after you get back into the car. Excessive drooling and salivation, uh, more than, <clears throat> excuse me, more than normal. Rapid heart rate, so we wanna make sure that we're keeping an eye on your pet's heart rate. You can put your hand on their chest. Anything for a puppy or a small dog over 160 beats per minute, and for a larger dog uh, over 120 beats per minute is a concern. They can also be confused, lethargic, um, inability to rise, so just weak. Um, you know your dog best, and so you'll kind of know if this is normal behavior for them after being outside during an activity and check their gums. So their gums, if they're suffering from heat stroke, mm -hmm. will be bright red or sometimes later in, in the process can be purple or blue. And so those are all big red flags that something's going on with your pet. And, and, and when you start seeing those symptoms, get them to the ER, right? Absolutely. This is a true emergency. Um, you can certainly call your veterinarian and keep them in the loop, but they need to go right to an emergency facility because this will require um, overnight care and stabilization, and, uh, and that is a true emergency. What's some practical advice you would give somebody right now? Not just if there's an emergency, but I mean, just we, we were mentioning it going into the break. I mean, you know, their, their little pads on their paws, I mean, can get really burned from walking on the street in the, in the, in the heat of the day. What's some other advice you would give people? Right, so uh, air temperatures of over 85 can actually raise the asphalt temperature over 100 degrees. So a good rule of thumb is put your hand on the concrete or the asphalt or your foot. Um, if you can hold your hand or your foot on the concrete or asphalt for over 10 seconds at a, at a comfortable temperature, then it should be safe for your pets. Mm -hmm. And always making sure they have shade and fresh water available and giving them breaks while they're outside. I, you know, I've, I've got inside dogs, so I, it's not quite as serious for me. But boy, I feel I feel badly for outside dogs having to go through this right now because uh, it's t it's tough. It's hot here. It's hot everywhere, isn't it? It, it absolutely is. And so for outside dogs, especially if they live outside, making sure that they have access to shade and bringing them inside, bringing them on, onto the porch somewhere where it's a little bit cooler, uh, supplying a fan for them yeah. can help uh, precipitate some of that heat as well. And it, those, uh, those pools, you can buy those plastic pools. They're pretty nice too, aren't they? I mean, I've got I've got right. one for mine, and they uh, they do they do appreciate being able to get into some cool water in the afternoons, right? Right. So the the big thing with the kitty pools, they are fantastic to help your dog cool off, but make sure they are under shade or at least under partial shade okay. because the sun can actually warm up the water as well. Ah, good point. Very good point. Hey, Doc, good to see you as always. Great advice. Take care. Okay. Thanks for having me. Talk soon. Bye.